Hi guys, welcome back to JRME. Today we will discuss about uh, one more uh, CK exam uh, question in the series. So the question says, there is a cube body and provision cluster was migrated to a new machine. It requires a configuration changes to run successfully. So in this question, our task is, we need to fix a single node cluster that got broken during the machine migration. Identify the broken cluster components and investigate what caused to break these uh, components. So the decommissioned cluster is an external ATC server. Okay, so we need to fix the configuration of all the broken cluster components. So ensure to restart all necessary services and components for changes to the to take this um, effectively. So and finally, we need to make sure the cluster and the single node. Uh, and all the ports are up and running. That means it is ready. So this is a little bit too tricky because I don't have any external ETCD server uh, to be configured, but it can be configurable, manageable. But uh, um, let let us solve the same kind of uh, scenario. Um, I will create a same kind of scenario and we will uh, do it. But in the exam, right, you need to check uh, whether it is pointing to the correct uh, external ATCD server IP address or how it is. These things you need to make sure at the exam. And uh, in recent exam, right, and last week only someone uh, taken the CK exam. So, and uh, they have highlighted that there is uh, some issue with the ATCD IP and the port number whenever they are trying to. Okay, uh, let's move on. Here is my Kubernetes cluster. So I'm trying to get the ports and nodes, right? So the cluster, the connection to the server was refused. So this means um, there is some issue with the control plane um, and the API server. API server is refusing the, all the connections. First, we will verify the logs and then we will see what is the problem, what, what is actually causing, we will verify. Okay, so for that, let me run a command. Okay, I have run the command, uh, journal ctl, cube split iPhone F, right, right, space iPhone F. So the moment when I run, right, it says some connection refused, um, right, and connection refused, connection refused, namespace, okay. Okay. Let me read in the command to see the logs okay kubelet connection was refused it says um, okay so here we can, here we can see that right, control plane and uh, the API server cube API server with the crash loop back off, right? So this means there is some unable to write uh, even may after saving and it is connection refused. Okay, so based on the logs, right? Our Kubernetes control plane is not accessible to the cube API server. That's why it is into crash loop or failing state I can say okay so this is saying that connection is refused so that is the reason the kubelet cannot communicate with the API server and it is repeatedly retrying to update the node status right that's what happening here right so what we need to do is uh, we need to verify the Pod status so but we are not able to run the kubectl commands right so anyhow we have we, we notice that kube api server static pod is failing 
so i'll request uh if you see right the, those are pointing to cube api server are being refused so let's first uh, check the manifest what are the available and the kubernetes manifest folder okay ptcd cube api server so first we will verify cube api server configuration and then we will see what is the problem with that kubernetes manifest cube api server manifest right so mainly what we need to look here right we need to check the endpoints like uh, etc servers are correct and reachable so let's see what is there at the etc side okay etc certificates looks fine key file looks okay it is server https okay yeah here you can see right the address of the etc server is not correct it is pointing to the local uh local ip that is 127 we need to use it here it's not the 128 that's what uh, we need to modify in exam right it might not be the same right it may be different right it may be a port number mismatch or ip mismatch right you need to make sure which one is culprit that you need to make sure and check and edit and modify that right so you save it once you save just please cross verify whether it is saved perfectly or not you save the etcd um, ip that is a local host right 127.0.0.1 it was at 128 so now it's a best practice always uh, just to restart the kubelet once we made any changes right so let me restart before that if you have time in your exam right uh, you can play with this first you can check the status of the kubelet what is the status if it is active and running it's fine if it's not active and running even before you just debug this part right you do this step firstly whether the kubelet is active and running that is the important one you can verify that right so in our case after restart it is successfully running okay now we would think yes uh set now we have restarted the kubelet now we can see the cube ctl get pods oh sorry cube ctl get pods okay no resources that means it is working earlier it was not able to run now it is running so what i'll do i'll just um yes all are working if you see the api server is just running there is no restarts right all are fine so the main intention of this this type of question here is um this kind of same scenario you will also face you will also able to um see and what you need to do is you need to log into the server or you need to uh Verify the manifest file and you need to see the this is not something that I can generate and I can show you you in in exam right it may be a different different issue maybe that is having some ETCD certificates issue or it is pointing to different uh, address as you as you saw right if it is point if it is pointing to a local host that is come on one second yeah if it is pointing to a local host that's fine i have modified if it is pointing to the external uh server external ip uh, i mean external ip address instead of local host right you need to just verify verify the connection whether it is working or not by using a curl command you can test it right if uh it is pointing to external one then you just use this followed by the ip address followed by the port number for example 2379 followed by health by using this ip means you need to use the actual ip address right that is how you need to test if it is pointing to the external that is how we need to validate uh, after we update the 
external IP if it is mentioned in your exam, right? So that is a more about uh, this type of uh, troubleshooting uh, um, questions, right? So depending upon your use case, you need to solve it, right? I'll try to create um, another scenario on this question as soon as possible and I'll try to update. But in your exam, right, um, focus on the question and solve what actually uh, broken, right? That's what uh, you need to concentrate and um, resolve. And as, as I said already, if you have any other comments and concerns, please don't hesitate to comment. I will try to respond. And um, yeah, good luck for your exam. And if you are still not subscribed, please do. If you feel really my questions are helpful, please don't hesitate uh, to contribute your coffee for me. That will help. Thank you.